Here we have graphene ink screen printed onto a screen. So when I hover my hand over it, you can hear a noise, and that is due to resistivity change inside the ink. So the great thing about this is that we can screen print it. So it is possible to have RFID tags as well. It will be cheaper than silver, which is usually used. As you can see here as well, it is very flexible, so it's easy to print and you can't really feel it as well. I'm working for the National Graphene Institute for research into graphene and its applications. So what we've been doing is we've got uh, conductive inks. We basically use coatings. We've got a waterproof coating, thermal dissipation, and also we have some uh, graphene supercapacitors. So the great thing about a supercapacitor is it's essentially a battery which can charge very fast. So if I connect this onwards, and if you see, once it reaches 20 volts, it is fully charged. So you can see that in within seconds, it is charged. Here we have a brick. One side is not coated, the other side is coated with reduced graphene oxide. And then if I put water onto here, it just goes through, just like a normal brick. But if I connect, put it here, it will stay on. Because if things are going to be more flexible and wearable, then we want to have it more flexible. And then graphene is the most strongest material, so we might as well use it. 